kind of the many books that you've written. Uh, you have one you co-wrote entitled Writing Treatments That Sell, and maybe you can hold it up so people yep. can see it. It's a cool cover there. And uh, first off, can we define what is a treatment? Well, <laughs> this is one of the things that Shalai and I looked into when we wrote this book because um, we kept getting asked that question by clients, you know, what is a treatment? We have to explain it over and over again. And it suddenly occurred to us, what is a treatment ourselves? I and mean, what is their definition? So we did a survey of about 30 execs in television and film and asked them that question, how would you define a treatment? And we asked them about 10 other questions and we really based the book on their answers. And basically the answer is that a treatment is a relatively brief written pitch of a story intended to be dramatized as a motion picture for film or television. And it's written in user-friendly, uh, grammar-free, quick language that is easy to follow. And it contains, highlights the most important characters and events, the obligatory scenes in the story. That's what a treatment is. Now, so how long is the treatment? Relatively brief. Uh, three pages to say 15 pages. Once it's past 15, 20, it's getting no longer relatively brief. And there was no industry agreement on it. And, and basically treatments range from five to 10 pages, good treatments. And we recommend that because of the attention span of the who you're dealing with, the audience, your reader, the buyer, uh, his attention span is limited and you do not want to extend it because he won't be there, she won't be there at the end of the story if you make it too long. So that's basically what a treatment is. And it's used for two purposes. It, it diagnoses the faults in a story. So you write a treatment of your story to see the faults in it. So it's a diagnostic tool. And then you fix them and, and then it becomes a sales tool because it, so people are willing to read a treatment when they won't read a script because the script is a serious engagement, whereas treatment can be read relatively quickly. And those are, it's used in every part of the industry. And, and the, it's different from a synopsis because a synopsis is a, a dry, fully detailed uh, summary of a story. You'd find a synopsis in a coverage, for example. But the treatment is a pitch. It, it's the substitute for a live pitch. Like I'm doing a webinar called Pitch Perfect, which is about pitching uh, and when you get the rare occasion to do that. But now with the internet, we're, we're going to do a virtual pitching so that people can actually pitch to a producer and get an answer. Uh, and a pitch is extremely fortunate chance to sell your story. And again, you, you do not want to be prefacing it with anything. You don't want to reveal your personality. That's not what it's about. You want to just tell how strong your story is by showing the story. And uh, a treatment is the, the best you can do if you don't have the opportunity to pitch live. So the treatment replaces a pitch and is what most people use. And they use it through email and through uh, any other method they have to hand a piece of paper to someone else. 